The Valley's ethnic diversity is a gem, and today, for the first time in nearly four decades, Greek Americans in Camel, they celebrated Greece's Independence Day. Natalie Jovanovich has more. In the city of Churches, home to one of the largest Greek communities in the area, parishioners of the Archangel Michael Greek Orthodox Church parade down 12th Street, recognizing the Feast of the Annunciation while celebrating their Independence Day. They were in captivity, so just like the American Revolution um, inspired the Greek Revolution over there, young people fighting for democracy. The Greeks declared their independence from the Ottoman Empire on March 25th, back in the 1800s. And for decades, the Greek community in Camel would honor the day with a parade. They used to have parades all the time in the 1950s um, to mark the day with the celebration of the Annunciation and Greek Independence Day go hand in hand. Uh, but for some reason, um, the last one that we know about was in 1976, the bicentennial. Not having had it since, Misos decided to bring it back. Hundreds of people did their part to resurrect the tradition, wearing traditional Greek clothing, carrying icons, and waving Greek flags. A short program followed where they prayed and, and sang songs. All in the name of freedom. Greece is being the, 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 the founding, of the father of democracy, always wants to be free. And so therefore, this has always been very dear to our hearts. Members of other Greek Orthodox churches in the area also came to walk in the parade. The faith of our church, it means so much to me and it means so much to all of our congregation. And that's basically what we stand for, our faith, our family. Organizers are dedicated this time around, already planning to continue the tradition next year. So we all came together as a community, a culture, to celebrate something that was so near and dear to people's hearts years ago. To bring it back, I, it just gives me chills. In Camel, Natalie Jovanovich, 33 News.